going to use sulfuric acid H2SO4. Okay, so I'm going to pour H2SO4 in this. So to test the pH of the sulfuric acid. When I dip the pH paper, it turns into pink. That shows it's an acid, right? So you can see the color. It's a very uh, acidic. You know uh, the sulfuric acid is a strong acid, but the acetic acid is a weak acid. So this shows the sulfuric acid is a strong acid. Shall we test with the universal indicator too? So this is here I'm going to test with the universal indicator. You can see. So when I pour one or two drops into it, you can see the color again. So that solution, I mean the sulfuric acid turns into red. So even that proof, uh, prove that it's an acid. It's a strong acid, right? So and then if you want to test with the litmus paper, we all know the blue turns red, but red remains same. So I'm going to dip the red into red litmus paper into the sulfuric acid. No change, right? So it is an acid. This proves the solution is an acid. Okay. So shall we test with blue litmus now? Yes. So H2SO4, when you put blue litmus over there, the blue litmus turns pink, right? So this also proves it is an acid. And... If you put magnesium ribbon into acid, what will happen? So this is a magnesium ribbon. So I'm going to put a small piece of magnesium ribbon into the sulfuric acid, right? So you can see the bubbles right inside the thing. Can you see? Yes, the bubbles you can see. So this shows the magnesium ribbon dissolves in sulfuric acid. You can see the gases, right? So it releases hydrogen when it reacts. So finally when it dissolves, you will get the magnesium sulfate solution. So this is also a test for uh, acid. And here you can see calcium carbonate, CaCO3. So if you put any carbonate salt in H2SO4, now I'm pouring H2SO4. So if you pour have any carbonate salt in acid you will see the brisk effervescence can you see the brisk effervescence yes so the brisk effervescence you will get so that shows it evolves carbon dioxide so these are all the tests for the sulfuric acid or any acid so shall I repeat now when I use the pH paper that shows pink color that proves it is an acid and when I pour universal indicator into it that turns red so that also proves it is an acid when I put red litmus paper no changes in the paper and when I put blue litmus it turns fully pink right so blue turns pink in acid and when I put magnesium ribbon into it the magnesium reacts with that and the magnesium ribbon dissolves and it gives fizzy um, appearance right yes so and the carbonate salt when i put carbonate salt that gives you the brisk effervescence that shows the carbonate salt in acid so when you put an acid the effervescence you will get so these are all the reactions proves it is an acid so thank you for watching this video we'll see in the next session bye bye